on the phone, Wheelchair Fred. Uh, hey, fellas, it's been a long time. What's up? What's up, Wheelchair Fred? How are you today? I'm pretty good. Yeah? Did you hear it's my anniversary next week? What? 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 It's my anniversary next week. It's your anniversary next week? What is it? Your anniversary of what? 21 years in the wheelchair. How many years? 21. Oh, we missed, we missed your 20th anniversary? Yeah, you blood. That sucks. Do you think I'm going to start with longer and longer? Do you actually think I'm going to start that wet chicken at Whack, ba whack Bag? What? Longer and longer. Like finger and finger. Huh. I'm saying longer the way I've said it my whole life. Longer. You can go fuck yourself. Yeah, you don't say longer. Oh. You don't say longer. Unless you're an if older you're saying Jewish longer, man. wet chicken at Whack Bag. I'm banning him. I didn't, no, don't ban I'm him. I'm banning ban wet him. chicken. No, you can't ban him. All right. <laughs> Jesus. I That's the comment, Anthony. Okay, I'm going good. back to uh, saying but, by the way. Are you? Yeah, you should. I'm I do. starting to say it. You're saying but? No, only crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be but in your place. <laughs> Jim Gavigan on the phone is Wheelchair Fred. You know who yeah. Wheelchair Fred I do, is? I do not know. Oh. He, was he goes in, way back with us. He was in a horrific motorcycle accident. We're finding out 21 years. Can I bring the break the okay. cycle joke back? No. <laughs> Wheelchair Fred? No. <laughs> yeah, August 17th, 1984. August 17th, 1984. Yeah. Yeah, that was the day, huh? That's when he lost the use of his that legs. That was the Wheelchair Fred. You became Wheelchair Fred, yeah. And uh, that happened. Uh, he also collapsed his uh, windpipe, oh. and that screwed up his voice. He's completely there. His yeah. mind is fine, even though he sounds like a... Uh, Usually he's okay. <laughs> mongoloid. <laughs> but he's, uh, if I may use the proper terminology, <laughs> a mongoloid retard. And I'm so hard dog. All right, listen. So here's the deal. Wheelchair Fred is prominently uh, displayed in our penthouse interview, Mr. Gaffigan. That right. is on right. newsstands now. We're in the latest issue of Penthouse uh, Magazine. I want to read the first two paragraphs to Jim Gaffigan, Anthony. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right? Yes. It's near the end of a typical Thursday show for Opie, real name Greg Hughes. Oh, they got something on oh, me. They gotcha. Oh, oh, they figured out my real name. And Anthony, last name Kumia, at their new XM Studios located near Central Park in New York City. The guys and their sidekick Jim Norton are on the air listening <laughs> to call-in <laughs> guest Wheelchair Fred, who is now on okay. the phone, report the day's news from his bathtub as he inserts a dildo into his ass. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, those. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and? And the FCC can do nothing but sit back and listen with them. Yeah, yeah. Sitting around a large circular table, microphones pointed at their mouths. Pointed okay. at our mouths. Jesus. Mm, the, guys encourage, the guys encourage Fred to keep using the dildo. Opie, the taller blonde one, Ooh. laughs so hard his face has turned red. Uh. While Anthony, the shorter, dark-haired one... Shorter, dark-haired one? The swarthy Italian. Is what it? is that shorter, dark-haired one? <laughs> right, the mean, adjectives are amazing. Yeah. You're shorter and you have dark hair. Tall, blonde, I'm not short, much shorter. Hair. I'm According just... to the first picture in the penthouse interview, you look like a midget next to me. Yeah, I know. They took it on the stairs. They took it on the Where's stairs. The I, I'm standing on the lower step. I'll be standing on the one above it. So I look like I am the shorter, dark-haired one. And there's no stairs in sight. That's what makes this Well, we, uh, we have a great time here on the radio. I love being uh, the shorter, dark-haired one. Where is the picture? Because Jim's got to see it. I'm at least ahead. I'm at least like 18 inches oh, taller. Oh, ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. If you could see like a banister, it would all make sense. But it just looks like no. you're just a really short guy. Mm -hmm. uh, sitting around. Okay, we did that part. Uh, I laughed so hard, my face turned red. While well, Anthony, the shorter, darker-haired one, is enthusi enthusiastically recommending strawberry KY jelly. Enthusiastically recommending? Yeah. Then for about a minute, Opie and Anthony fall silent and let Fred take over the show. <laughs> Meanwhile, producers are running back and forth into the studio, reminding the guys that they have Scream 2 star Jerry O'Connell on the phone waiting to get on the air. Never did get to him, did we? But, but the dildo bit runs too long, and poor O'Connell is bumped from the show. It would have been a tough act to follow anyway. Uh, 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 That's how the interview starts in uh, the latest issue of Penthouse Magazine. And uh, we got Fred on the phone. And he's looking for six hundred dollars. What? What for? Fred, what do you need six hundred bucks for? 
just expenses, time needs money, just friends to get everything. For anything and everything. Expenses. Yeah. yeah. I'll help you out, Fred. What are you, oh, Mannix? Oh, sure. And I told him, Bob, I was thinking maybe we get the fans to help to give a dollar each to keep me up. Give a dollar each? You want to pass a fucking hat? Where? You want the fans to just start sending you their hard-earned money? Yeah, what the heck? Because you're too lazy to work. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Lazy and You're shiftless. Right. There's plenty of there's plenty of jobs you could do. The world needs hat models. Oh really? <laughs> and God the models. <laughs> <laughs> Just because it takes you a little longer to get out of bed, you want people to send you money. Yeah. Absolutely. Why don't you take those pristine sneakers and get a job? <laughs> those well, scuffless like shoes. Can I give it back to this guy? <laughs> you got lucky uh, lately, Fred? Any chicks or any no, guys? Nothing. No, you're just uh, jacking I'm it, huh? So dry. <laughs> he came up with one of the greatest quotes of all time on this show, Mr. Gaffigan. Uh, he uh, had a <laughs> he had a guy bang him in the ass. Right, right. Not because he's gay, but because he was desperate. He was desperate. Right. Well, you know that the guy hasn't had companionship in, in right. many yeah, many I years. I don't do it anymore. So his no. quote was, "I'm not gay. I'm just." Desperate. So he went to the <laughs> local corner convenience store and found some young guy right. uh, and somehow convinced him to come over to his apartment <laughs> where he then, the guy picked him up out of the wheelchair, <laughs> threw him on the bed, right. uh, pulled his pants down, and had anal sex with him. Right. And, and maybe that's what he needs the $600 <laughs> for. Yeah? To get, what, a higher caliber of, of a guy? How awful is that when you're going to get laid and you, you open, and you know, like the convenience store bell clinkle, like the clink clink, <laughs> and you look in and there's a guy in a chair and you're like, all right, I'll fuck him. And then you come back out, the clink clink clink. <laughs> and you got to wheel him you to gotta his wheel house. You got to wheel him home. Up the gravel driveway. He's got cranky oh, ass. Oh, oh, pull the pants down over those old turnip legs. <laughs> I'll get the door. <laughs> Hasn't wiped his ass since 1984. <laughs> oh. You just undo the belt and the pants just fall to the shoes immediately. <laughs> Oh, there's none of that pesky calf muscle to stop him. Oh, he's tried to wipe his ass since 1984. But... Opie. What? What happened? That's what I must say. I'm very clean. Oh, you're very he's clean. He's very clean. He wipes his ass. He has to just lift his cheek a little bit, and he probably wipes from the back forward. Ah, uh, gets all over his nuts. Under his bag. No, yeah. I don't. His bag looks like a skunk I back. <laughs> like a photo negative of a skunk back. <laughs> Hey, God, give it back to this guy here. What? I want to give it back to this person. You want to... He inspired me to come back. He wants to give... You, so you went back to the store. This guy inspired me to come back on the air. This guy inspired you to come back on the air. Yeah, Mark McCullen. Why did Mark get you to come back on the air? He just called me to do it. <laughs> he just said how wonderful I was. According to Kevin, if we all send a dollar, he'll have eight to nine thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we do the uh, Russ Martin math. Hey, yeah. Fred, don't you get disability? Yeah, but that's not enough. Not enough? What do you need? I'm like 800 bucks, you bought me a week a day. 800? I thought it was 600. Yeah, I thought it was 600. It was a few years ago. Oh, it went up. Inflation. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Why don't you join, like, the Murder Ball League or something? Do well, something. We should get Ben in here because Wheelchair Fred emails everyone basically saying he's not going to do the show anymore unless he gets paid. And he just keeps writing emails saying that. Yeah. And then eventually he just calls the show because he realizes we don't care. We're not going to give him uh, <laughs> right. money. Fred, oh. you would just spend the money and then you would need more money. Of course. No, you give right. a man a fish. You should pimp oh, out that. That's right. You should pimp out that ass of yours. He'll shove it up his ass. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want this enough to go and do for something. You uh, what? I didn't catch that one. You I don't want to do this for nothing. Oh, you he don't want to want do this for nothing. You don't want to do what for nothing? 
Talk be witty. What? Be witty. Be witty and be outgoing. Be on the radio. So you don't want to... do the... So you don't want to do the uh, radio for free? Yeah. All right. Uh, Jim Gaffigan in studio. I mean, he's a, not that Fred is not a valued asset. Yeah. He, yeah. Has, he has legs like wasp antennas. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the end of Wheelchair Fred. That's it. He told us. <laughs> bye, bye. It's like my brain hurts from trying to understand. Yeah. Me. Yeah. You got to learn how to speak, Fred. You mm-hmm. kind of do get used to it after a while, and you can... Pick out words and but stuff. But he wants money. He wants money yeah. for his country. Amazing. 600 bucks. What kind of... Imagine sending in a requisition for $600 to XM for Fred. One dildo up ass. <laughs> 600 <laughs> clams. <laughs> yeah, I would love to send in that expense report. $19 for parts and 581 for labor. Priceless. <laughs> Fred's in the union. Yeah. Priceless. He has told some of the greatest stories on the show, though. Uh, Describing how he brought this guy home and how this guy <laughs> banged him up. up the how do you just <laughs> swap so a cripple? the guy, right? I don't think so. I think the guy just wanted to get laid. Right. And Fred was there. I, I don't know. How did they strike up a conversation? How do you go from know. you know so getting a slurpee to getting a dick in your ass? Go, he can go to a store. He's, he's got mobile. a very strong upper body. He's not actually paralyzed. His oh. legs got so mangled in the accident, and he had no. It's kind of a sad story. He had no health insurance. That he okay. never got him fixed. Yeah, so it's not his spine. And oh, now and his so legs are all not, He's up. not a complete paraplegic. No, 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 no he's near. not paralyzed at all. It's oh, just so his it's legs are so mangled. And his voice box is got crushed. crushed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Cause He's I thought completely there. I thought he was like in like a, you know, like one of those beds. You no. know? See? No, That'd no, be no. perfect. No. <laughs> No, he's in a wheelchair, so he just wheels around. And I he goes feel to like, the store. I feel if we pay wheelchair Fred, we would be enabling him. And yeah, we don't want to be enablers. Yeah. No, yeah. absolutely not. Can't somebody fix his legs already? You would think. Just re-break them. Just do something. Glue them together the right way. Something. Put some pins in there. That always works, what right? What was the accident? A motorcycle accident? Yeah. A motorcycle. Some woman uh, turned right in front of his bike. He used to be like tough guy biker. We learned something. We were at the X Games broadcasting live, yeah. talking to all these uh, hardcore motor cross guys yeah. that have lost their spleens and kidneys racing and none of these guys will ride bikes on the highway no they say that's crazy wow. they said yeah. it's, that's for crazy people that's like murder ball a bunch of those guys yeah motorcycle accident yeah they, they, you got to be a nut to ride a bike on the street well, these guys people. are doing some crazy stuff at the x games but when it comes to just driving their motorcycle that's on the funny. highway they will yeah. not do it that's funny They're i like, think we I'll only go got one it. guy yeah. we talked to a lot of guys all afternoon i think only one guy actually rides a motorcycle on the highway and they're launching themselves off of ramps, going 50 feet in the air, leaving the motorcycle, getting back on it, and hitting the the dirt. Well, the, the, I think it's interesting how motorcycles are like the people that ride motorcycles are bikers, but like people that ride bikes are cyclists, and like how they both ride bikes, but like they're completely different. Those that ride bikes are called faggots. They're like, <laughs> Big Gus, would you like to go for a 75 mile bike ride with us? <laughs> yeah, if I can add a motor to my bike, and maybe wear a Nazi helmet. Uh, bring my pregnant girlfriend. You want to see a funny sight? Go to Central Park around six in the morning and see all the Lance Armstrong wannabes. They're all dressed in their yellow. All dressed in their biking outfits, <laughs> and they race each other at six a.m. before work. What did I say wrong? Nothing. No, I'm saying if you, you say you want to see a funny sight. I'm saying if you want to see a funnier sight, go at three a.m. and watch a white girl jog around 110th Street. <laughs> the laughs will ensue. <laughs> But these guys all get together in the morning before work to race around Central Park in their biking outfits and their state-of-the-art bikes. And they get mad if you're in their way. Everyone's wishing uh, Wheelchair Fred good luck, bro.